Okay, starting here in the lower right hand corner, this small brass screw with the lock nut on it is an air bypass screw and it should always be fully closed. You have one on either side, fully closed. The next screw over is your idle fuel needle adjustment. If you have the older style short needles, it's one and a quarter turns out. If you can't get it within a quarter turn of that, you may need to change your idle jet size. If you have a newer style carburetors that came with the long needle, you might want to start at two and a half turns out. And that is simply to fine tune the fuel at an idle. The next uh, screw that your carburetor may have over here on the side is just a port that goes straight in for an early style synchronizing tool. And that should be plugged and left alone on both sides. Uh, above that, we have a vacuum port. This is a screw, a little plug that goes on the end of the tube. If you lose that screw, you might want to use just a regular rubber vacuum cap uh, to seal that off. If you're using a vacuum advanced distributor, that's where you would attach your vacuum line. At an idle, uh, there's not generally too much uh, vacuum on that until you start to open your throttle plate a little bit more. This brass plug is the access point where they drilled your progression holes and then they plugged it and sealed it off and you don't need to get into there. It is a handy device on Delordos, but uh, on Weber's it's just sealed off. Now, let's talk about your accelerator pump and the accelerator pump shaft adjustment. The further in you turn that nut, the richer it makes it or the more fuel squirts down the throttle bore. In is richer, out is leaner. There's a spring type device in there because you could hydro lock that and if you're mashing on the throttle and extremely excited, you could bend the linkage and the spring is what does the work depending on how fast the orifice in the squirter allows it to go into the carburetor throat, all right? So screwing in, richens it, look down the top, and screwing out makes it leaner. I usually like to have about, let's split the difference here for a dual carb setup. This is a single carb setup, so there's more fuel uh, available right there. Uh, this cap, uh, has got a screen underneath it or should have a screen underneath it to keep contaminations from getting by the fuel inlet and going into uh, the carburetor itself. Uh, this is this brass screw right here is where the idle jet lives. And so you've got one for each side. And that is the first and most common place to have a clog uh, and affect your idle and starting off. These two brass tubes here on top, these are your main jet stacks. The main jet is on the bottom. Then you have an emulsion tube, typically on a Volkswagen, it's an F11. The more holes you have in that tube, the leaner it is. Don't put them in there yourself. The diameter of the tube as well as the location of the holes is very scientifically created. The top section up here that holds those two is your air correction jet. The larger the hole, the leaner it is because it's going to allow more air in to mix with the fuel. The smaller the hole is, the richer it gets. It also, it works in conjunction with the number of holes. Usually a, a 180 to 200 is what you typically you have in one of these and an F11 emulsion tube. And the main jet would be four times, approximately four times the diameter of whatever size Venturi you're running inside 
the bore. That's that hourglass removable piece that controls the airflow. The smaller it is, the better it handles and more economy you're going to get um, on smaller engines and just low speed around time driving. If you're racing and you want maximum airflow, you'll put in a bigger Venturi, bigger main jet, and uh, have to do some further testing on your own for that. There's no flat over the course that covers everything. This is a uh, device for measuring airflow. And that's what you would measure on both sides if you needed to adjust the air bypass for the leaner side. That's the tool to do it with. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. Easy Jeezy, out.